In this video I'm showing a Macintosh SE30. It has a problem on screen. You'll notice where my fingers are. There's a vertical line. The screen just refreshed and it went away. Now it refreshed again and now it's back. This is a white line. Width of one pixels goes from top to bottom. It is a dotted line. In this computer I have a Micron Exceed video card a uh, video card that has a grayscale adapter. As you can see, this is not your normal black and white screen. This is a 256 grays screen display on the internal CRT of a Macintosh SE30. Now notice now, there's no problem here at all. You, you, can, you cannot really see that line. If I look with my naked eye really closely, I can see some kind of a subtle, it's almost like a ghost burned in image. It's not burning at all. The line is actually still there, but it's it's just almost impossible to see. And if it was this faint all the time, it wouldn't bother me. I would not need to make this video. But on occasion, it does become more pronounced, and that is why I'm making the video, uh, to see if we can get to the root cause of the problem. You can almost not see it at all, probably not even at all in this video, but I can see it here. It's, it's right here, going up the, from top to bottom. See where the edit menu is? It's directly under the eye in edit. It's going from top to bottom. Now, if I open up the control panel's monitor, uh, the monitor control panel, that is where Micron Exceed's features are accessible. And you can see that I have 256 grays here on an SC30 monitor, which in and of itself is extremely slick. Um, these Micron Exceed adapters are very hard to come by, and I was truly blessed to, to be able to, to purchase one for a reasonable price. But anyway. 256, you can almost not see it, but it's directly under the eye. If I change to 16 colors, immediately it becomes more pronounced. You can see it very clearly on the video now. It's actually white and dotted. It runs from top to bottom of the screen. But notice, let's switch back to 256. At 256, it's over here under the eye, but if we switch to 16, it's between the E and the L of label. So it shifts over about a little bit over an inch from where the 256 uh, grays line was and if we switch to four it's almost impossible to see but actually it's over here just between the t and the five uh and again it's so faint unless i told you it was there you couldn't see it and well, actually it's not between the t and the five I, my eyes were deceiving me it's actually between the two and the one over here between the two and the one and the only reason i can see it now is i put my arrow there and i can see little dots over the arrow so let's go to 16, which is here, 4, which is here, so it's, it's more than 2 inches away, 256, you saw it flash on, it was white, and then it flashed off, it's under the eye, so the 256 and 16, the spacing difference is just a little bit over an inch, but the spacing difference between uh, 16 and 4 is very large, it's the difference between uh, my two fingers here and here's the difference between 256 and 16 so um, All right, let's load up a program here. I got kid pics. It's displayable in color or in grays You can see it's in grayscale 256 setting here if We look closely I can barely see that line. I'm gonna take the paint bucket and paint and I cannot see it at all. I cannot see the line at all. If I change it to something else, boy, I really have to look hard. It's almost impossible to see. So if I switch back to the finder and I go back to my monitor's uh, control panel and change it to 16, and then we switch back to kid picks again, um, okay, kid picks didn't like that, but, uh, all right, and then we'll quit, and so, so, we'll make kid picks happy, and then launch kid picks again, and you see the line, it's there, it's not going away, you can see it all the way through here. 16 and but now here in this part of the gray it's it's almost not visible 
and on the white it's almost not visible so it really depends uh, on what you're trying to display <laughs> when I do black look at that gray you can still see it fairly well so 16 grays mode is not usable because of this line the line is just destroying everything. If I switch to black and white, I can't see it at all. There's no line at all. Switch to 4. It's a little bit of a distortion here. Go to Kid Picks again. You can't see it. You can see a little distortion between the 2 and the 4 here at the top, but and then here on black, boom, there it is. Uh, but then it switches to white and you really can't see it anymore. You go to um, Oh, a gray pattern here. That was supposed to be gray, but it's actually black. Very pronounced. Switch to this type of, uh, of a screen, and it... Actually, I need to do solid color, and then here. And then, uh, and then... So, it's, it's sometimes it shows, and sometimes it doesn't. Now this video I need to wind it down here but basically uh, if I do the reboot again I will do the reboot again with 256 you saw it flash on and then flash off if I do a restart you'll be able to see it flicker on and flicker off why is this happening that's really the question um, I can't see it at all now because of this but now I can see it okay it's got the same uh, black and white type of gray pattern and then it refreshes and it's gone okay and then now you can see it again after another refresh. So it seems to happen between refreshes. And so now you're seeing it, and it's staying on for some reason. And then now it's gone. It's gone away. So it comes and goes. See again, 256 grays. Why is this happening? That's really the question. Uh, and that's the purpose of making this video. Thank you for watching.